Okay guys, welcome back. So we're playing a little bit of catch up today on a couple of things, uh, a couple of products that were uh, launched at the end of yes. last year. Yep. Uh, we just done sort of Cobra, uh, Forge Tech, Iron. And another one we had on our list to, to sort of look over was the Super Hybrid from mm -hmm. Callaway. Yeah. So launched at the uh, end of October. Right. Um, just kind of in, in you know, the mix with a bunch of other uh, product launches at the time. We, we never quite got around to it. Christmas came, PJ Show came. Here we are. We wanted to, we just didn't, but now we will. Exactly. So a little bit of an interesting concept, obviously, mm -hmm. to uh, to merge the, the sort of look of a, a fairy wood and a, a, a hybrid. Yeah. Um, performs a bit, probably a bit more like a, a, a fairy wood from a distance perspective, but yep. has the length uh, of, a, of a hybrid. So tell me about that, because when this first came in, I think we all kind of read the buzz online was like, what is the point of this thing? Like, yeah. why would anyone want a hybrid that goes so far? Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that there is a real fitting reason yeah. why you would use a hybrid in a strong loft. I mean, and, and there'll be people watching this uh, who will go, yeah, you know, I'm, a, I'm a, not a great fairy wood player. Yeah. I really struggle with fairy woods, but, um, for the player who's typically a little too inside and a little too shallow and tends to drop kick uh, their uh, fairy woods quite a lot, yep. this is basically who the super hybrid is, is kind of uh, is designed for. So it is a sort of more of a fairy wood replacement, or maybe you're just the player who doesn't quite get as much out of hybrids as you would like anymore. Yeah, you just want some. You might just be the person that just wants distance from yeah. it. That's a good point. It could yeah. also be that that person. Um, <laughs> it's it's definitely a. Uh, a power packed um, product, that's for sure. I mean, Definitely. all titanium head, titanium sort of cup face mm -hmm. uh, on there, jailbreak technology. It's got all the, all the kind of technology. We were just talking, it, it, it's, not, it's not a flash face. Yeah, uh, it pre, I guess it predated that to some yeah, degree. I well, mean, not really, I guess. It, but it predated them putting it into fairy woods Correct. and hybrids. Right. So, so it that's did right. come a little bit before that. So yep. um, we will probably see a version of this, I would shoot, I'm sure, at some point. Yeah, 2021 uh, or something. Yeah, maybe. perhaps with. Uh, with the, the flash face in there, mm. but um, you know, as of right now, the, the reports that we've, we're getting is that it doesn't really need too much tweaking. Yeah, it sounds like it, a it goes plenty far as it is. Yeah. So if I want that three wood out of my bag, let's say I hit up on it two degrees with my three wood, which is yeah. bad, obviously not good for fairy woods. I'm like six or seven degrees yeah. in doubt. Mm -hmm. When I go to this club, this shaft is two inches shorter is that a three wood? Roughly? Correct. Uh, yeah, but about um, about uh, an inch and a half. So I think forty. 41 and a half is what the 17 degree comes right, in at. the strongest I'll one. check that one, but I think it's 41 and a half. But that is enough to bring some, like without doing anything, you're going to naturally hit down more because it's a shorter shaft. Correct. And the, you should be less in yeah. doubt. You should be more neutral. The shaft uh, will, will stand on a, on a more vertical um, plane. Right. So that will help get the club to move down more. Think about uh, how we hit a wedge versus how we hit a four iron. Mm. Obviously, the club being further away from us, the, it sits the shaft plane down a little bit. It causes us to swing around our body a little mm. bit more, and therefore we shallow out our angle of attack. Right, so it's just in that way, that's why it's a good alternative. And then obviously, because it's so quick and it's titanium, you should hopefully be able to get similar ball speeds as you would with a, a three wood or yeah. maybe even like a four or five wood? Well, if you kind of know a couple of the, the little uh, tricks of, of how to use these loft sleeves, right. you, you know yeah. that you can get the, the 17 down to 15 if you really want. So, which is what we'll test today. Yeah, so we've got the right-handed sleeve on there which can turn the 17 degree head. Uh, so we, we're going to put it in plus two loft, yep. which we know reverses it uh, for the, the other sort of uh, side of the... The, the ball. So if you put the lefty head on with the righty sleeve, it reverses the settings. So we have a 15 degree Correct. version of this set on neutral. Correct. So, so we're expecting this to go a uh, This should go a fair, fair distance. I mean, I kind of want to compare that to, I want to look at the um, attack numbers yeah. to see, we can, uh, we know what my three wood numbers are roughly mm -hmm. and show how that's a little bit better. And then, yeah, hopefully it kind of goes almost as far. Yep. Expecting to see um, some, some pretty flat numbers with it. You know, I mean, maybe something in the high 2000s from a spin, spin. rate perspective. Yep. So sort of 11, 12 in the launch. Gotcha. All right. Well, shall okay. we? Yeah, let's do it. Little side note. Um, the the club is not one of the cheaper clubs out there. Yes, it's um, definitely not cheap. In Canada, it's coming out at four hundred and thirty dollars, but it does come with the Mitsubishi Tensei uh, Pro Orange. Yeah, so as a, as a stock quite option. an expensive shaft if you bought it separately. Yeah, um, so it is good value in that sense. Definitely. So it's more expensive. It, it's it's at least as much as an expensive fairy wood. Yeah, um, but you do get the value of, of what's a pretty good upgrade. Definitely. Normally, right? Yeah, and we're going to try it in that today so you guys obviously yep. can, can see what it performs like with the stock. Yeah, you could buy it. this exactly like this. Yep. Okay.
Feels nice. That one sounded like it was hammered. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, basically. I don't feel like we're in uncharted territory for you when it comes to uh, to hybrid I in agree. terms of how far it's gone. I mean, yep. we've seen you about that that number before. Where we probably haven't seen is your spin rate on the low side like that. So mm. those are fair we would numbers. But it, it kind of has forward loft, so true. not a million miles uh, away. So the advantage would only be that this is a shorter shaft, so it should be easier to strike, I guess. Correct. The consistency of the strikes would, uh, would be improved with this. Gotcha. That's well hit. I imagine that will fly a little further. A little bit, but it's not getting away from you. It's no. It's not kind of got that kind of flyer jumper look to it. No, it's very um, stable looking, isn't it? How's that there? Yeah, 3,400 spin. It does keep the ball flight. You're right. Like that launch angle, mm -hmm. it, it knocks the launch down to kind of more fairway wood territory, doesn't yep. it? Yep. Very efficient. Yeah, driver efficiency, basically. Driver efficiency, yeah. I mean, looking at the... You're almost at tour average ball speed. <laughs> but that's more to do with you than, than anything right. else. I mean, it's, you're, you're getting lots out of the club. You're swinging sure. at 112, getting good efficiency, so. Yep. That's good too. Come on back. Just didn't quite draw. It's a good shot though. It doesn't appear to have the kind of hook in it either, does it? It's not, you no, know, not people are obviously concerned with hybrids and, you know, being hook machines. I'm not seeing that from this. It doesn't sit anything but really neutral, as far as I can tell. Right, okay. It looks bigger, obviously, in, in depth, or sorry, front to back. Sure. But the face kind of lines up basically straight with the hosel. Like, it doesn't really have that... Mm -hmm. That hooky look to it. doesn't have a hooky look to yeah. it, no. Yep. No. Yeah, you're able to get on your start line. Your start line pretty much is always down the left side with a wood anyway. Yep, that was a good one. Let me see if I can try to... Normally, I'm afraid of hooking these, and I guess... Yeah, really good strike. Let this one go a bit. That's nice. Should have a little more meat on it. Mm -hmm. Still flighted, though. It's good. I mean, you want a fairway wood, you want to be able to hit a little fadey one to a green or more of a tee ball like that, drop the spin a bit, get some extra yards. I don't think I've ever hit 165 with a hybrid, though, that's for sure. No, no, that, that had a different gear to it, that one. I think I'm just kind of getting more comfortable with it. A low lofted hybrid is not something I probably would ever have practiced with. Looking for a little more out of that one. Just hoping for it. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's see if we can play with that loft sleeve a little bit. Sure. So let's see what we can do with it. It's the 17 head. So th there are three heads. There's the 17, 20, 23. Yep. Adjustable, uh, three degrees either side. So normally with the standard loft sleeve, it's one down and two up. Yep. Um, but if you flip them over, you can go two down and one up. Can I order an in incorrect sleeve from Callaway? Is that an option? I wouldn't think uh, Callaway would be too keen to they be doing that. probably don't want that happening. No, a fitting no. center maybe could hook you up? Maybe, yeah. Somewhere like this. Well, they do have it uh, in the woods now. They do have uh, the, I guess they, they call it like the pro sleeve or oh, something they do. like that. They, they have a different sleeve that, right. that is reverse. Gotcha. All right, well, so we'll look for this to be a lot flatter then. Let's see how this one, see if we can keep that 165-ish ball speed. Okay. <laughs> Look how flat That's that thing is. That's gonna go forever. Wow, two feet off the ground. Well, if you play in the links and you know you're looking to flatten out and maybe you struggle with fairy woods, that's which is not that uncommon. So, really nice strike there, Matty. Brought the launch and spin down a little bit. I mean, that's flown two seven two out to two ninety three. Those are starting to get into the fairy wood territory. Yeah, like a really good fairy. That's a good point. And I think my, I'm, I need to pay more attention to it when I hit a fairy wood to make sure I don't hit up. And I'm not really thinking about it, and I'm yeah. already one down, which yeah, is nice. which is good. It's nice to see. Really good. Moves that strike uh, nicely up the face. I mean, some people I know struggle with woods and fairways a little low in the head, but okay. you've got that dimed right in the middle of the head. So 
it coming in steeper, it should be easier to strike a higher part yeah. of the face. Yeah. And then you'll launch it higher, spin it lower anyway. Exactly. So there's, yep. I mean, there's a lot of upside for this. Yeah, if you can manage that low point to where it's low point occurs just after strike, yep. the strike should be right in mm. the middle of the club, slightly, maybe even slightly above. Gotcha. That was good. It does have a little extra gear to it, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah, you nicely kind of square one up and it's, so that's more or less the same as what I would kind of hit a smooth three with like that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Let me step on one to finish. But lofting it down basically makes it, yeah, it basically made it a three wood. Kind of mid 160s. Yep. There's not much negative to say. Does it feel pretty good? It really does. It sounds good too. Like it feels jumpy, but it's not loud or it's not tinny or anything. It's very kind of solid. 166. Yeah. Like I, I don't remember having such an easy time striking my three wood. My three wood strikes stray, so I'm seeing the advantage of the shorter shaft just to yeah. keep it, kind of keep your strike pattern in a good spot. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're, you're able to consistently keep that angle of attack down. Mm. You know, you, the little change in loft appeared just as we, we set it up, so the, the delivered loft was slightly slightly less, brought your launch down, brought your spin down, you can see the trajectory change, so mm -hmm. it did flatten out the apex, it's, it really kind of got it coming in a little bit flatter into the, the target. It's cool. good, yeah, it's really good. I mean, your good ones were flying just over 270. I mean, this is not a stupid concept for everyone that doubted no. this as kind of like a dumb gimmick. Yeah, it really, it's, it's not, not at all. It's, it shouldn't be looked at as that. It's, it's, a, it's a fitting utility. Good point. For someone like ourselves, we, we love having these types of mm. options where, you know, we can help the player who's stuck in no man's land. No man's land is right between the drive and iron that's a bit shorter, but they can't quite flight. Yep. You know, the hybrid doesn't quite have enough pop, and then the fairy wood's too long. It doesn't have enough mm. loft. Yeah, because so. now you have four options. Yeah. I think the driving iron getting introduced was nice because you didn't really used to have that option as yeah. well as you do now. Definitely. But you're right. There are guys that can't hit a driving iron high enough yeah. or with enough spin. That, mm -hmm. like, that center of gravity is plenty far back. Definitely. And we're, you know, we've flighted it down just for video purposes, but yeah. it's an, an option for the guy that comes yeah. in and would have been screwed otherwise yeah. and would have had nothing to go home with. We used to do it in the, you know, back in the fitting centers when I remember when R9 first came out and we were able for the first time to interchange clubs and we would take seven wood shafts out and put them in three wood heads and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, okay. we were doing yeah, yeah. things like that a lot just to, again to, to manipulate just that that fraction of space and, and we're talking literally like a couple of inches of difference between where the, the club bottoms out mm. but it can be the world of difference between you know solid contact consistently and that you know regular miss hit that just causes the ball flight to be erratic so yep. um, I, I really like the option. Uh, it's very promising I wasn't sure what to expect but mm -hmm. I can definitely see honestly I can see it, it being a decent option for myself. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would tend to probably just work on my fairway wood a bit, but the reality is that is, if you are too shallow and too mm -hmm. in doubt, that is an immediate improvement. And it's just strike. it's just another one of, of the ways in which we can make the game a little bit easier for yes. you guys. I mean, if we're shortening the shaft, but you can still get the same output, you don't have to use as much leverage in the form of club head speed. Take it, you know, take it. If, if that sounds like it's, it's, you know, describing you. Yeah, very good point. Yeah. Um, for those that are curious, uh, we alluded to it, but Mizuno CLK, the new one, comes yep. in as low as 16. Mm -hmm. um, how low can you get a Titleist TS hybrid down to 18, maybe? I think there's a, I think there's, there's a, there goes, a, I think there's a 17, perhaps, in, in the TS3, there. maybe? Yeah, I think, I think okay. there is. So um, there's, there's other companies. This is a really good example mm -hmm. of it, and I would say this is probably the most forgiving version we've seen because of the yeah, size. It's pretty generous in terms um, of the footprint. So not to say that you know, there aren't other options, mm -hmm. but this is probably the most forgiving one. Yeah. But if you are a Mizuno person, for example, you can definitely go with them or somebody else. Yeah. TaylorMade, I think you can get down to 17 as well, so. Absolutely. Um, guys, hopefully this, is, this has been of value. Sometimes I think these clubs, uh, these types of clubs get kind of categorized off to the side as gimmicky yes. and, and filler and, and almost useless. They're not that, again, mm. they're just, they're better, more fitting tools. 
we don't bring clubs in unless they fit into our fitting matrix. There's someone we can help uh, with having this club. That's that's the criteria for getting into the draw in the first place. That has to be able to help someone. Yes. So um, you know, there's there's there is some uh, some real benefit in there. Yeah, uh, I totally agree. For, for a lot of you out there, stay tuned for uh, more lots lots uh, more reviews to come in the next uh, couple of weeks, guys. Stay tuned. Thank you.